going to work both on PostgreSQL and to perform uh, easy JavaScript uh, for today. So we assume that we have, uh, either you have already have PostgreSQL Enterprise DB installed, or you have PostgreSQL open source version. I will work with, I will work with uh, the binaries provided by a DB, Enterprise DB. This is my lap personal laptop, so I will open a shell. My binaries are located over there. To make it easier, I have to modify first my, my path. So what we have, I have, to, I have to do first, I have to modify my path, uh, my path environment variable. Okay. Okay. We will get back to this um, later. We are going to first to do a easy shell script. This is a prerequisite before going ahead. Let's assume that we want print all digit number from 1 to 100. There is a couple of ways to do that. We can do that using 4 or using the command sec. We can do, the, we can do this using 4. For example, we can write something like As you see, it print all digit from one to some. Okay, that should be help, help us to later. We get back to the first shell. We are going to initiate our PostgreSQL cluster. We would do that using the initdb command to speed up the the video. I would use uh, easiest. Argument GMP here I just use this command if I get back to the to the help I use the flag a lower upper to say that uh, the local connection will be trusted and I initiate, initiate initiate the cluster and I put it in the in the path TMP PG data. Before we have to sh to start the our PostgreSQL cluster, before doing that we are going to modify uh, the, the port. So we are going to edit the configuration file. Okay, it's here. We are going to modify it. For example, instead of this one, we are going to use the, the default one. So now we can start it. Okay. I want to keep this uh, this the, this shell script as it is. I will reuse this command. And I will get back to the shell script. I will open a new session. I will copy pass my command. So as you see, I have access to my binaries. All my binaries are located here. Oops, I forgot. Okay, so now let's assume that I want to create a table and I want to put 
records from one, one to one to one hundred. Through that, I'm going to connect from the default database. Okay, so to this our database, I have three. I have the ADB, I have the Postgres, I have the two template. To create a new database, let's call it uh, DB test for example. Okay, we're going to connect to the DB test. Now we are connected. We are going to create table uh, my table. I give the tip. Uh, and let's say for example uh, and now our goal What we want to do okay so we can do there is a command to do that using the using SQL but I don't want to use it here I can do that using uh, I can use this command if I want but uh, this is not uh, the goal of this video we want to to do this using the shell script. So I am going to edit uh, shell script. As you see, I do this using that. But to let my script to work, I have to copy and paste a new shell. Okay. And after that, I'm going to take this. Okay, so, if you remember correctly, we have this. We are going to use it. Table was my table. We will just enter for the data value. We would put uh, stupid things. This is not the. This is not really important. Okay. Before we play the table, I'm going to add uh, this. Just to be sure what we are going to get. Okay, so now my script is ready. I will add let's see the output of the script. Okay, seems to be good. Now we have to Go ahead and remove that. <coughs> Database is not LGB, but uh, if I remember correctly, I call it um,
Du Bethesda. Ok, sounds good. Ok, so we get back here. That's it. Now, if we get back to the database and connect to the, and we try to see the content of the, the table. We did it. We enter all digits from one to one hundred. Okay, sounds good. Can we try to modify to do the reverse? Delete everything. Or can we try to enhance this? Yes, we can, because there is some kind of um, PostgreSQL environment variable that we can use. What we can do is to do that. This is the poll. This is the PostgreSQL environment to so PostgreSQL will, will know that he has to, to listen on this poll. We can set up the PG database on variable variable. So he know that he has to use this. There is also the, the other one. And we have the PG host. For example, Meaning that now I don't need to specify this here anymore. Okay, before going ahead, we get back to the, to the database. We connect to the database. I will get everything in my table. Okay, now I can. We have a look. So this is. We have some command. Oops, sorry. That's it. So now we are going to execute it. Sounds good. This seems that it works. Get back to the database. See if it's okay. And it works. So we write. We wrote our first shell script. Read this content. Oh, I forgot to. So it's something. That's it. We write our first PostgreSQL script. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.